What's up everyone, this is Ryuki here and today I'm going to be unboxing the Tekken 7 Collector's Edition. So as usual, we're going to take a look around the whole package and then get to what's inside. So as you can see here, this is the front. The left. The right. The bottom. The top and the back so as with most collector's editions limited editions etc gives you a brief description of what's inside and i'll be right here day one edition of clues obviously alicia steelbook and the soundtrack and uh kazuya obviously kazuya mishima and ahachi mishima fighting what surprised me is the uh, size of the box i did not think it was going to be so big <laughs> So yeah, so now it's time to open it up and uh, get to what's inside. So once you open it up, the game should be here and the steelbook should be here. And um, I already opened the game and installed everything because uh, uh, this is, this is uh, quite a bit of wait time on the install. But um, once you remove that, there's another box here, which I'm assuming this is the uh, statue. So I'm gonna take this out. So once the box is removed, that's already in the box. So there's nothing, no inside art, no nothing, just regular cardboard. Now get to the next item. Also, once you remove the contents from here, there's nothing else, just cardboard. All right. So the first thing I'm gonna go through is the game, day one edition. As you can see, I already have this opened up, installed. Um, this itself. The day one DLC, well, the DLC that's included with the day one edition, that is. And that's pretty much it. So now on to the next item. So the next item here is the steel book. As you can see, it's pretty nice. Smooth. Shows Kazuya punching Hihachi. And then once you open this up. See the soundtrack right here and it's empty space here leaving the option if you want to put the game disc in or not instead of the regular case kind of comes down to the individual but yeah that's pretty much it and i don't believe this is a blu-ray this is a regular cd because it doesn't show the blu-ray logo anywhere <laughs> all right so now on to the statue So once you remove the box inside the box, uh, it's just a plain white box. So as usual, we're going to take a look around the package and then get to what's inside. So as you can see here, uh, this is the front of this box. The left, which has a damn down side. The right, the bottom, the back, and the top. So yes, we just went through looking at a white box that has a down side. Just in case you're curious. So once you open this thing up, there goes the statue in all its glory. So now I'm going to remove this and display it. And in case you're wondering, there is nothing else um, in this box out after you remove the uh, item. So I do want to point out there is tape. You can't notice it, but it's right in between all of, around this package and so we get to flipping this. Um, what I find interesting here, which you probably can't see it really well, but this is actually made by a company called Pure Arts. Um, that's interesting, never heard of them before. So I am curious to see how this statue is going to look like once removed out of the package. So now onto the final step, displaying it. So I think what surprises me a lot about this statue is um, how detailed the characters are. They look identical to the in-game counterparts, obviously, uh, Ehachi and Kazuya. And there's a lot of detail too as well. Little things you really just don't pay attention to, like the tiger on the back of Ehachi's uh, gi. And then you got Kazuya over here doing the kick.
and you can actually see the indents and the scars. And what balances this statue out, which I found interesting, is uh, Kazuya and Ehachi. Well, obviously, but uh, the weights. There's clearly weight here, but then it feels like it's unbalanced when it's displayed. And it's like it's more leaning towards just kind of like... <laughs> It almost feels like it's going to break in some way, but it doesn't. Um, really nice uh, statue. Really like it. Not disappointing either, because the characters, usually when some collector's editions, you get a statue that doesn't have that great quality. But this one's fairly decent. It's really nice. Take one last look around. So that's the end of today's unboxing. Um, I have to say this is a really good collector's edition. I'm happy with it. Um, downside is it doesn't come with the season pass. So if you want the season pass, um, that's a separate purchase. So yeah, that's pretty much it there. The statue was really easy to take out and uh, it balances itself out, <laughs> which is interesting. Um, really cool statue. In my opinion, this is a collector's edition for the fans. Um, I'm a fan, obviously, so I have no real complaints about this collector's edition, but besides the fact that it doesn't include season pass, so which I made that as a separate purchase. <laughs> but anyways, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It's greatly appreciated. Also, drop a like if you like what you've seen here, of course. And as always, this is Ray Yuka here saying thanks for watching, and until next time, everyone, sayonara. On to the next battle.